do just that, not knowing, like, now we're here, like, almost 15, 20 years later, and now they're calling it robotics and artificial intelligence. And I'm like, <laughs> but literally, I set up a bot to do a, um, a volume of work repetitiously, not something, and, and to me, like, bots should be used when there's a high volume and uh, it's a process that doesn't involve a lot of uh, conditions, like uh, like it takes a human intelligence to try to do an analysis on. You know, sometimes people write bots for things that really don't like. I heard like what you stated, like sometimes, you know, uh, they will write bots for uh, a situation, and uh, this is nothing that's like. Uh, it's, it, it has analysis. You have to do analysis so it's not something that's high volume, easy, repetitive, and it doesn't change. If it changes, then it gets more complex. It's not saying that it can't be done, but it's better when you have high volume and, uh, and it's something that repeats and it doesn't really change. Like if you verify on a website, if insurance company, if you want to verify a provider's credentials, right? Uh, right, yeah. You had to go to certain websites, state licensing boards, and you had to go here, there, and you know, the feds the check their tin and all this other stuff. That's repetition. But to do it for like, you know, something that's that you have to try to decipher, and you know, unless you have some hardcore programming skills and you can uh, write your arti uh, uh, artificial intelligence or uh, where the machine is actually learning behavior. Yeah. That's the difference. And that's, that's a thin line. What do you think about that? Yeah, I agree. A lot of a lot of these technologies have been around a while. And 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 right now, you know, they're just we're in a super hype cycle. You know, every everything's overhyped. I think artificial intelligence is a scary term. People are afraid they're gonna lose their jobs. And, and you know, there are areas where artificial intelligence, you know, like robotic assisted surgeries, things like that are, you know, kind of Impacting, you know, the folks in, in very high paying white collar jobs. Um, so, so, but I think in general, artificial intelligence is just used for, like, like you said, kind of those, those high, high volume repetitive type tasks. Um, you know, I, there is AI, you know, kind of, you know, the neural networks, you know, that that can kind of learn and, and uh, you know, it's kind of a you know big back big black box. You really don't know how it learns. It, it <laughs> does processes in it and it's able to uh, you know find uh, some you know how, how things may be correlated that you know a human would have, would have never come up with. So it can do some amazing things, but it's nowhere near that. I guess they call it artificial general intelligence. You know where it where it mimics the human reasoning, human analysis, you know, we're, we're nowhere near that yet. Um, you know, self-driving self -driving cars, for example, have a long way to go. We're still, you know, still ways away. I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that because I wanted to ask, like, define for some of the users, for, I said users, see, I'm going back to my BA uh, everyday work thing. Uh, de define, like, machine learning or uh, the general machine learning, like how you're saying it, because I want, to ensure that um, the individuals who are watching this for the first time, that they understand what that is. Because it's one thing, we understand artificial intelligence, what that is. And, uh, maybe people understand robotics. Some people think that it could be like the actual machine, a robot. Like, they don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really good at that, right? <laughs> but. Yeah, the, uh, you know, our, from what I've read, you know, artificial intelligence is just kind of a subset of machine learning. Machine learning is kind of a, you know, kind of a broader term that uh, includes artificial intelligence and, you know, predictive analytics, things like that. And essentially all it is, is, you know, using tool, you know, using various tools out there, you're using different libraries that other people have created. Uh, if, if you're, you know, a super genius, mm -hmm. you may be creating your own libraries and doing things, but you know, simply, uh, you know, applying, you know, using those libraries and, and uh, applying them to to deliver a chatbot or, you know, maybe uh, 
search optimization, you know, there, there's a lot of computer vi vision, image recognition and classification type uh, products out there. Yeah. It, yeah, and there's, um, the funny thing is that I've seen, well, I heard of the technology where they were using the augmentation uh, to look at the grocery store's uh, shelves and to tell uh, you what you actually needed. And all the person would have to do, bring their phone around the aisle and scale the aisle like uh, slowly. And then it sends a report back and say, you need this, that, 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 and the third. And yeah, including the freezer as well. Have you uh, are you that? talking about? Are you talking about for inventory purposes? Or are you yeah. talking about from the, for the consumer shopping or inventory purposes? Inventory purposes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I, I've heard of that, but I've also heard of the consumer shopping purchase where um, 